It's a wonderful evening here wherever we are. Uh, and as you can see, I'm with my family. I'm with that kid boy. Bilal, say hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Bilal. Bilal who? Bilal Africa. Yes, you heard. He's Bilal Africa. <laughs> and we have another gentleman here. Hi, everyone. Abdurazak Abubakar. What's your nickname? My nickname, then they call me at home, is Uncle. The other one, I, the one that eats the show. <laughs> And that would be Massive 7. Massive 7. I love that nickname. So here I'll be with my family in this. Don't mind about him. He's a little one, but he's taller than me. Can you imagine? So um, I'll be telling you a simple story. I'll be sharing with you a simple story as I'm with my family. We are out. You know, family goes. So, um, Uncle, what, do you, what special thing do you have for our viewers? Massive 7. Mm, something special I would like to say that everyone you should enjoy life mm -hmm. as you can and don't take it as life it's not about going to the beach mm -hmm. it's spending as much time as possible with your family Wow you see um, those are family goals and he's a little one but he understands the true meaning of family I'll be telling you something small about um, something to do with my personality but also something special, today is my best friend's birthday. She, um, she's so far away from me, I've not even sent her a message. I know she's very pissed. So um, help me wish her happy birthday in this video. So I'm dedicating this video to my family and my best friend. Speaking of family, um, since I was little, guys, I think we can find somewhere to sit, right? Yeah. But where? Mm, anyway, we need we need somewhere where there is enough light. Okay, maybe we can sit here. If you don't like, uh, guys, how do you like the place where we are? I think it's a beautiful place, right? So I was telling you my story when I was little. Since I was little, I. I enjoyed my own company. I remember my mother used to call me a cold-hearted one. Um, I was the kind that enjoyed sitting alone, watching other kids play. You know, of course, I love, I loved watching kids play, but when when I wasn't part. Um, and growing up, it wasn't any different. I was that kind of person who focused um, on my own company. I never used to enjoy. A lot of um, I never used to enjoy a big company. Nonetheless, I didn't know how to make friends. Uncle, do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, I have some. Some? Yeah. Like how many friends do you have? Mm, they are not a lot, but they are those that can stay at my side at any time. Ah, that's amazing. And as we're going to reach that point. So um, growing up wasn't any different. I was so much of a loner, but I enjoyed watching movies at night, late at night when everyone was deep asleep. Um, deep asleep. Do you enjoy watching movies? Yes. <laughs> Why I used to watch movies alone, I don't know the reason for sure. But uh, whenever I saw people crowded on the TV, it kind of bothered me a lot could put a lot of pressure on me so I enjoyed watching movies when everyone was dead asleep and uh, of course when I was at school high school I used to mind my books I was always tucked in my corner where I never used to be bothered and all that uh, but as a young adult I started to notice a lot of things around me I started saying that people had friends friends they could talk to, friends they could work with, you know, friends they could do a lot of Christ stuff with. And it kind of started putting pressure on me, the pressure, the pressure of having people around you. I used to think something was wrong with me, you know. Do you ever see those kind of people who are always alone? Yes. Do you think something is wrong with them? Most of them, it isn't that thinking, it looks on them. You can see that look that someone is missing out something. You see? So, um, just like what my brother told you, I used to think, 
like something was really wrong with me. So I started, um, I struggled, not even started, but I struggled to make friends here and there. But the worst part is I could make a friend today and tomorrow those people are not my friends. And I must confess, till now, I can make a friend today and tomorrow they ghost to you. You don't even know what's wrong, what you did. Maybe you, you could even think you've done something so grave to them. They stop calling you. Um, when you call them, they don't answer. If you text them, they do nothing. I'm talking about friends. I'm not talking about boyfriend or something like that. Until one day, this, this girl came around. I don't know, she was the only one who agreed to be in my group. I remember I was at campus and we were doing group, group coursework. And I found myself in, this, in one group. I was the only one in the group. All, everyone was like, we can't be with her. I was like, whoa, what's going on? And I told the teacher, I remember I told the lecturer, I can be alone, it's okay. Then this one girl said, I'll be with her. And she's been in my life forever. That's when a realization occurred to me. I was like, mm, so nothing is wrong with me. I can actually be with people, you know. What is it? What is that you're carrying? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, he's one happy baby. He's one happy child. Um, he's called Africa. He calls himself Africa, but he's Bilal. Um, so that's when a realization occurred to me that Nothing is actually wrong with you. Maybe it's just your personality. You kind of antisocial, you know. <clears throat> and uh, since then, I stopped putting this pressure on myself. You know, I I realized um, I could do things on my own. If someone wants to be friends with me, maybe they can fit in my company. If they don't, then that's a different story. So um, as I'm growing up, or as an adult now. I know how to keep some friends. I'm lucky I have a few people I can call my friends. I can call and we talk, we chat. I can entrust with the, um, I can entrust uh, them with my secrets and all that. But it's not an easy thing though. Uh, sometimes I feel like being in among people, it puts a lot of pressure on me. I find myself not knowing what to do. Like I use a lot of energy to socialize guys, uh, smiling, put up, putting up with people. It's quite difficult for me. And, uh, but uh, I realize it's not only me. Um, we have a handful of us, like people like us. It's just our personality. We tend to enjoy our own company. However, um, it's also important to understand that you can't be alone in this world. You need people to do things with, not all the time, but uh, especially at work, uh, at home and all that. So little by little, I started making a few friends here and there, but they are not so many as well. Uh, but that's the beauty of the world. We all don't have to be the same. Just imagine if we're all like me. Uh, if all, the whole world was like you guys who know how to make friends, it would be dull, right? The world needs people like, I mean, unique people, those who can't make friends, those who know how to socialize and all that. And I love people, I love watching people, seeing them, um, going out, having fun, you know, and all that. But I also love the kind of people we are, we, you know, we, I know some, one thing about ourselves is that we are so trustworthy. We don't tell people secrets. I mean, someone can easily trust you with their secrets. And I know once we make a friend, we really care about them a lot. Among those friends are my family, you know. Uh, I love my family a lot. Those are people who understand you better than anyone else. Uh, a few cartoon movies. <laughs> Yeah, kids' movies are, are so interesting. So I kind of find company in them, and that long time kind of find makes me find comfort in them. And I think a lot when I'm alone. I feel like people who are always among people can't come up with a lot of great ideas, you know. And uh, I don't know, they can't focus a lot because you have friends to talk to, distraction and all that. That's what my mind tells me, guys. So. Um, if you are like me, if you are an introvert, you, 
you don't look at yourself as someone who is a burden to the society. Just know we are many. <laughs> and uh, I'm so thankful to my YouTube community that have been there for me. Once I have issues, you like my videos, you comment on them, you know, and it kind of gives me fulfillment. So if your friend hasn't come around, or if you haven't come, if you haven't got people to connect with, don't worry. One day, you will get that person you can connect with, maybe your husband, maybe your brothers, maybe like mine, maybe your child or that, you know, anytime. Or you can even connect with the animal. Uh, that's why most of introverts, they like pets. They can connect with dogs, they find pleasure in feeding dogs, uh, cats and all that, parrots, sparrows. So anything that gives you fulfillment, um, it's uh, <laughs> what I say. How is mommy speaking? <laughs> He's imitating how I'm speaking, guys. <laughs> He's so funny. So I was saying, um, today is my friend's birthday. That person, that one person who has stayed in my life permanently, uh, please help me wish her a blessed new year. Uh, please thank her for me for keeping up or keeping up with someone like me who is dull and boring. Can you imagine being friends with someone like me for over a decade? That's a true friend, right? Because I can be dull, I can be... You can't understand me most of the times. I know myself, right? But it's not even easy to discover yourself. Sometimes you may think something is wrong with you, but the moment you understand that you're not the only one, hmm, things will be okay. Don't always beat yourself up. Don't think you are a burden sad. Don't always think it's your mistake. When people run away from you, don't worry. It's none of your mistake and they always come around, you know. So um, I'm signing out. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, tell me you've, you've fallen in love with my brother, Massive7. He has a TikTok account, you can check it out. Um, and my, my little one there, come and say goodbye to these people. Tell them, subscribe to Mommy's channel. channel. <laughs> Yeah, you had my baby has told you to subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, Uncle, do you have anything to tell them uh, concerning the topic we just talked about? How you find your sister's personality? Mm, the last thing I would like to say is mm. that if you are someone like she has said, if you are like her, please find friends, people who will accompany you. You can even take Africa there. <laughs> you, can, you can even, yeah, feel free, look for friends. If you have none, I'm a master in finding friends. <laughs> I will help you. Okay. Thank you. I sign out.